Hi there, I wanted to make a quick video to show you guys how to use the timeline scheduler in Disco to create a light and music synchronized light show. Um, the initial step is quite easy. So what we're going to do is obviously you'll need to create the buttons for all your looks. So all the looks you intend to use um, for your light show and your synchronized light show, you want to create those. I actually use the AI button creator, so these were all automatically created. So to get to the timeline scheduler, we're going to go to tools. We're going to go to advanced tools and we're going to go to timeline button scheduler. OK, I'm going to click that. Um, when that opens, you'll see the timeline button scheduler here below on the screen. Now, um, the next thing we want to do, and actually the first thing we want to do is we're going to go and select start media file as the first event. And then in the event to execute, we're going to click there and we'll get a dialog. And what I'm going to do is you will need to have your audio file that you're going to use for um, your light show. So I'm going to go ahead and select a song here and that that song or that video would have to be hosted and located on your local machine. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and open that and you'll see that this gets filled out. It says relative time trigger. It starts at zero zero and it's media. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and show you now how you're actually going to record it. So you'll see the record button here on the bottom right. And when I press that, the music is going to start and then I'll be able to trigger looks according to the position of the music. It automatically gets recorded. And then when I'm done, I can play it back and edit it. So um, I may not be doing a lot of talking here, but I'm going to go ahead and press record. You'll see the music start. Let me lower it a little bit. Okay. So you see, I'm just basically triggering it live on the beat of the music or whenever I feel like pressing the button. So you see the events are being filled in here and I won't do the whole song. Okay, you get the general idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop it. And now I'm gonna play it back and I'll show you basically everything that I've done is going to be played back. So here we go. Now what I can do here is I can fast forward or I can reverse to each event so I can find the fine tune the time. And I recommend that you um, go ahead and uh, test out maybe your first time or your second time. Okay, so now if we wanted to go jump to a certain event, we can click here on the start column. So whatever row you wanna go to, you can forward to that one. The other cool trick is you can get to a certain column and then you can re-trigger it by hitting this column on the right. So there's a re-trigger column. And you see we're at this active album. I wanna hit that before the time. The other thing I can do is I can use my backwards and forwards to go through each of the looks. And again, to edit it, I'll go ahead and pause it and whatever event I want to edit, I can click here and I change the time. Just click away and I can hit time again. I can rewind and make sure that I hit my time correctly. And that's it. That's how you edit. That's basically it. So once you're done, you're going to hit exit and you're going to hit save schedule. And I'll call this new button. My button will show up here. And I'll go ahead and exit out of this. And I'll show you as soon as I hit my timeline button, the song starts. And so will the lighting sequences as we program them. That's it. That's how you use the timeline scheduler in 
Disco. Thanks.